Hi, I'm Ben Henson. I'm the director of golf here at McGregor Downs Country Club. And I'm Steffi Safer, the golf course superintendent. Together, we have put together a video for you to view that covers golf course care. It covers from raking bunkers to how to enter the bunkers, repair your divots, and how to repair your ball marks. We hope that you will view this and put it to good use to take care of your golf course. Thank you and enjoy. Hey Ben, around tees and greens we need to keep all four tires on the cart path, okay? Okay, I'll put it back on the path. That's better. All four tires on the cart path. Alright, I'm up. Got tea on you? Ben, there's plenty of broken tees for you to choose from there. Yeah, you're right. Ben, make sure you put any broken tees in the broken tee box over here. Ben, make sure whenever we have any divots to refill them with green sand. If you happen to hit your shot into a bunker, you always want to enter the bunker from the low side and never from the high side. After you've played your shot, you always want to rake the area from which you have played. You want to rake it smooth so that you can leave it in good condition for another player if they happen to hit their shot into the bunker. After you finish raking, just lay your, your rake back into the bunker so that it's, uh, it's parallel to your line of play so it won't interfere with any shot. A ball mark can be created by a full shot coming into a green or from a bunker shot or from a chip shot, but it is extremely important to repair any ball marks and your ball mark and any others that you might see on the green. As you can see here, we have a ball mark that came in from a full shot. Here's the proper way to repair this ball mark. Insert your repair tool on the outside edge and pull it in, push in towards the center with it. Once you've got it all in towards the center, just take your putter and tap it down smoothly so that you can provide a smoother putting surface for all the players. So here's the properly repaired ball mark in a ball market that has not been repaired. Okay, after you've played a shot and you've taken a divot on the golf course, there's green sand that's on your carts. If you would, please take your green sand and fill in the divot. Once you piled it up, just go ahead and smooth it out with your foot and this will help the grass grow over more quickly. We have sand bottles on the golf carts and also sand bottles for walkers that are located at the golf shop that contain the green sand. We also have sand bottle refill stations on the fifth tee and the 14th tee box. And also if you're making the turn, we have them available at the number one tee box as well as number 10.